What's happening everybody? Steve here, Cars with Steve, and today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to set up Android Auto and Apple CarPlay in the 2021 Ford Explorer ST. Now this is a very straightforward process, shouldn't take any more than five minutes, really only about two minutes or so. It's literally just a plug and play solution. If you guys enjoy the content, make sure you give it a thumbs up, consider sharing it on your social network, and think about subscribing to the channel because I've got some really cool giveaways that are planned once I hit certain milestones. Next one coming up, once I get to 5,000 subscribers, giving away an exotic car driving experience or two. But let's dive right into it and figure out how we can set up Android Auto and Apple CarPlay in the 2021 Explorer. Step number one, what we're going to do is take our USB cable and we're going to plug it into any available port. Make sure you plug it in the right way. And there we go. Step number one is complete. Starting off with Apple CarPlay, very straightforward process. We're gonna take the other end of that USB cable and all we're gonna do is just stick it into our phone. So really that simple and watch what happens. Oh, wait a minute, what do we have here? CarPlay lets you use your iPhone in a way that allows you to stay focused on the road. So in order to use CarPlay, we absolutely have to make sure that we continue and accept that message. So we're gonna continue there and some basic privacy terms and conditions. So you need to make sure that you agree or else you won't be able to use CarPlay. There we go, as you can see there, we now have another option and that's going to be for 911 Assist. So I absolutely recommend turning this one on because what'll happen is if the phone's connected to the vehicle with this feature turned on, if it recognizes that you've been in a collision it'll automatically dial 911 for you so absolutely make sure you turn this one on and just hit continue okay next up so it's going to say unlock your phone and on my phone it said unlock and it's giving me the option to enter in my passcode you can use touch id face id whatever the case may be but unlock your phone and look at this it's connected next up we're going to now as you can see there it's actually asking do I want to allow CarPlay to use, use Sync 3 while the phone is locked? Absolutely. So we're going to hit OK. So allow on that. And as you can see there, we are now fully connected. So we've got a number of different options there. We've got my phone, music, maps, messages, now playing and a number of other things. And that's one of the benefits here. We do have the ability to use Google Maps. So the vehicle itself is equipped with your regular factory navigation. But if you prefer to use Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze, whatever the case may be, you can use it directly through this middle screen on this beautiful big display. I love it. In order to get back to the home screen, we're just going to press the home button there. It works almost like the home button in your iPhone. From there, you can look at some basic messages, audio podcast books. Now, certain things like LiveX Live, Spotify, etc., can work directly through the middle screen, which is really, really nice. So you don't have to worry about navigating through your phone in order to make that happen. So we go back to the home screen for a second there and very straightforward. Now we can look at our basic Apple CarPlay preferences. Now we can turn it off. Now, one of the benefits of turning it off is watch what happens. Now on the very bottom, we're back to our regular Sync 3 system. So we've got our home, audio, phone, etc. Turning CarPlay back on, we'll then navigate to, let's see, watch what happens. Wait for it, wait for it. Ah, oh, we're back to just our Apple CarPlay there. So if you need to have your phone charging up while you're using the Sync 3 system instead, all we have to do is make sure that in our CarPlay preferences, we just go preferences, turn it off, or we can completely remove the phone. So we won't be using CarPlay whatsoever, but the phone is still charged. And then in order to get rid of that message, all we're gonna do is just unplug and you're set to go. The ability to run Android Auto is the exact same process. We're going to take our USB cable, we're going to plug it into our Android device and give it a sec, watch what happens. Oh, look at that. Android Auto extends the Android platform in a way that's purpose built for driving. So exact same thing as what we just saw for Apple CarPlay. Same thing, we need to hit continue in order for this to work. Basic privacy terms and conditions, same thing. We need to make sure we agree to this or else we won't be able to use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. On my phone, as you can see there, so welcome to Android Auto and it just wants me to unlock the phone. So just gonna fingerprint unlock and then hit the unlock button on the bottom. And same thing, so now we've got the ability, so it wants us to turn on Bluetooth in order to sync with the vehicle and allow access to my car. So yes, we're gonna do that and hit next. Watch what happens. There we go, wait. We are now fully connected and it's so simple. Now, very similar to what we just saw on the Apple side of things, we've got the ability to use either Waze or we can use Google Maps, whatever the case may be, directly through this middle screen. And we absolutely wanna make sure that we're automatically downloading our contacts, so we're gonna say yes to that. But look at this, we now have the Android device fully operational on that Sync 3 screen. So really cool, it wants access to my messages here on the phone as well, so we're gonna allow that. 
And as you can see, we're now connected. I can run off of Waze. I can run off of Google Maps, listen to podcasts, go to my phone, calendar, news, number of things. So many options. I love it. We can flip between whatever map we want to use as well. But if we go to Android Auto Preferences for a second, we can turn it off completely, which very similar to what we just finished seeing in Andro or Apple CarPlay brings us back to our regular sync system. And then we can just completely remove the phone from the vehicle. As you can see, it's now completely disconnected. Well, folks, that was a look at how to set up Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Really not that difficult. Literally just a plug and play. And with that larger Sync 3 screen in the ST Street Pack, it really opens up the possibilities for what you can do inside of these things. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. But until I see you next time, make sure you stay safe.